I don't even know what I'd be doing without Onside. When I was, before I joined Onside, I didn't even have no guidance, didn't know what I was doing with school. I spent more time standing in a corridor than I did in a classroom. I just had nothing to do and I just didn't know where I wanted to go or what I actually wanted to do. And with being a part of Onside, it gave me the confidence and the drive to actually understand that I could get some GCSEs no matter about my dyslexia or that I couldn't sit in a classroom for longer than five minutes. It just gave me the opportunity to believe in myself. Because before I thought like, oh, no, I can't do much. I can't exactly read the best, I can't write the best. So I'll never be able to get a job. And like, I weren't accepted into any colleges when I left school. So it, was, like, it actually gave me the chance to realise that I can do something with my life. Youth centres nowadays are just closing right down left, right and centre. And like, not having that environment means that they've got no one to speak to about their problems. So they build it up and then it turns into violence. And I think by having that youth centre, it just means that they've actually got someone to talk to. Before, I'd never be able to speak in front of anyone. And now I can speak in front of literally everyone and anyone and do presentations, whether that was the 400 people at Guildhall, so not even 30 people, but it's still a massive thing to be able to speak in front of everyone. Uh, Onside's giving young people somewhere to go, someone to talk to, and something to do. It's an opportunity for young people to go somewhere and express themselves and find their true potential and develop their talents. Because I guess young people can't know what their talent actually is unless you've got a facility to go and like try out all different sports and everything you could possibly do to then understand and realise what you're actually good at and just go with it.